show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am that British guy and welcome back to One Pound Wonders. In this series I try and pick up video games for only one pound and after half an hour's gameplay I will decide if I think it is a one pound wonder or a one pound blunder. For this video we will be looking at this. The PlayStation 2 version of James Bond from Russia with Love. So let's begin. So here we are about to dive into from Russia with Love on the PlayStation 2. I've got 30 minutes on my timer so I am going to start that now. Okie dokie. Check the memory card. Now I made the mistake when I first played through this of thinking we were going to get a menu system but sit back and enjoy what we're about to dive into. Yes we've got the pre-bits but we could be watching ourselves the film. considering. 2005 so it's quite a late PlayStation 2 game but it is only on the PlayStation 2 after all not the PlayStation 3 and I've seen PlayStation 3 games that look worse than this. It's been a while since I've seen the film so I'm not entirely up to speed with all the exact details of the film. I'm presuming the game is going to pretty much play those out beat for beat. To a certain extent, anyway. Oh, there he is, there's Sean. Hello, Sean. Or is this Sean? Where are you, Mr. Connery? There he is. May I help you? A dry martini. Shaken, not stuck. Ah, oh, that's actually his voice as well. Bond. Where does the girl? Elizabeth Stark, the Prime Minister's youngest daughter. We received word half an hour ago there might be another kidnapping attempt. She doesn't appear concerned. Why should she be? Pretty good facial imagery as well. Here to protect her. Ooh, Ooh evil octopus in here. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Supposedly, she might get kidnapped. Yep, she's been kidnapped. Too bad. The game is over, Mr. Bond. The game is over, Mr. Bond. I think it's just begun. Ha ha! Punnage. The game is over, it's just begun. Yes, it has. Quite literally. I don't know what any of the controls are. Use. Ow, I'm being shot. Oh, now you tell me what the target is, isn't it? Yep. Right, okay. That's pretty much what we had. Yep. Okay. Shoulder buttons, nice and simple. Vilt. Just sort of self targets really once you hold that there's not really any aiming as such Let go of me. Shut up. Ah! weapon select what have I got other alright loads of rounds for other stuff a bit of health Waypoint over this way. So what are the silence PP? Where is the SMG? Mm. 
Sir, they're heading to the roof. Sir, they're heading for the roof. Quick, sir. Not the roof. Hold L1 to lock on, then press square to enter bond focus. Use bond focus to shoot focused targets on enemies. Not really sure why that was necessary, but okay. I guess. Where, how do I get up the stairs? Oh, I need to go through here then. Ah, oh, through this bit at the back, of course. Look at the map, would be a good idea. I say, that's rude. How very dare you, sir. Bit of lag in there. Nice. Thank you for dying. I've got no idea what difficulty level they think this is. Presuming kind of a standard one. Okay. More rounds there, nothing there. Yeah. Camera's alright. Cover. Press triangle for wall cover. Press R2 to crouch. Use cover to evade enemy fire. Well, that's pretty good. You can still aim and then you press triangle to get out of cover. Can't go that way. So where do we go then? Hmm. Oh, I haven't got to jump across to these, have I? Yes, I do. Okay. At least, this time, at least when I jump, he actually jumps. Uh, Nice. Then you get the prompts as well. Bit of fun. Nice. I quite like that. Oh, that's locked, so I can't go that way anyway. Oh, no, I can't see. My daddy's a very powerful man, you know. You can't just go around Shut doing up. <laughs> My daddy? Ah, oh, what? I'll kill you. Um, well, you, you, you won't. Because you're dead. Targeting. Hold L1 to lock onto objects. Haha. Nice. Better not shoot you. How do I get to the roof? You will need this pass key. Cool. Thank you. Simple schematics, research points. Okay, I'm presuming that's going to be helpful. Now where do oh, I've got to go back on myself. Oh, back to the locked door, of course. Lovely. Bit of health, light body armor, cool. There we go. Get rid of you guys. Ah, I can open this now, lovely. And up, up to the roof. That's obviously why they smash through the skylight. Because he knew that the door was locked. Ha ha. Ah, I need my shelf for the ball. Not many people are really going to hear you over the, uh, you know, helicopter. 
get to the roof succeeded. Enter the jetpack. X to ascend, square to descend, press circle while moving to dodge enemy fire. Still. I don't really know where I'm going now though. Oh, am I just shooting guys? Objective destroy the helicopter. Ah, uh, what? I'm back here. Oh, of course, the target thing doesn't work while I'm doing this because it's got a different action there. I'm here. Whoa! That was. That was uncalled for. Not cool, man. Oh, missed me. Oh, you missed me. Oh, you missed me. You're going down. Yes. I'm lucky. That better not have been... Oh, that was the helicopter she was on. That's a really stupid thing to do. Ha, <laughs> ha, nice. Right on through the middle Who bit. Who are you? The name is Bond. James Bond. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, that is clever. It's like playing the film. I'm not entirely sure how true that was to the events of the actual film, because I say I can't overly remember. Yep, Sean Connery in. But that nice little intro sequence there. A little kind of tester level. How oh, they've got footage from the film as well. Are these all the voices from the actual film? Who are reprising all their... Or have they just taken the dialogue from the film? They've got everyone. Blimey. Oh, that is cool. Shame I've only got half an hour. Oh, I like this. Maria Menounos. Well, she definitely wasn't in the film. Oh, Natasha Benningfield. So are these characters they've added to pad the game out? I'm surprised they didn't play the... Mind you, that comes at the end credits, doesn't it? Hedge me, it's unlocked. Oh, did it just about in time. Hmm, okay. Cool. No, don't need to save, just, just carry on. Missions. Oh, I can't select another one. Upgrade, what's this? Upgrade... What's this? Armor oh, silence. Clip size, max ammo, fire rate, clip size. Oh, cool. Upgraded. Can I upgrade you? Two research points. Oh, not enough points. Oh, well, because I don't have the research points. I didn't see where it said I had them. Oh, no, I see. I've got two research points, but that costs eight. Right, okay, sorry. Yes. Villains, media and concept. Well, we won't look at that for now, because we're on a time limit. Oh, that said it was an operative. Okay, well, let's go with agent then, because that obviously just starts you out 
fairly simple. Let's actually have a bit of difficulty to it, shall we? Just to see where we go. Oh, hedge maze unlocked. Right, okay, cool, that makes sense. Infiltrate the mansion. Find the south gate key. Presumably I'm going to have to be quiet. Press R2 to stealth walk. When you are behind an enemy, press R1 to perform a stealth attack. God, it literally is a maze as well. Let's put some rounds. Right, okay. So. How do I get into the next bit here? Yeah. Special mode. Perform stealth attacks, combos and focus shots to earn more research points. Okay, rather than just, oh, kill, kill, kill. Oh, that was obviously a combo. Okay, that didn't, well, it wasn't perfect, but kind of got there. The gate there. A few more rounds. Nice. Not going to argue with that. Radio soldiers will call reinforcements. Use bond focus to shoot the radio. That went really badly. <laughs> I can't remember what the... Where are they all coming from, man? Oh, that's enough now. The nice thing is, although, yes, you can quite nicely do things in a stealthy way, it doesn't completely knacker the game if you, say, muck it up slightly and have to go down a lethal route. What's this? Southgate key, small key, press X to continue. Cool. And presumably then when I get into the mansion. How did you even know I was here? Good job with a strong gun. Okay. Anything around here? He's watching me. Find the north gate key. Any 
with that bonus stuff. How do you know I'm here? I'm actually trying to be quite stealthy. Unless it is just because their mates just keep shooting at me. They hear that gunfire, maybe? I don't know. It's pain, whatever it is. Here we go. In fairness, they saw me, yeah. Clever there, didn't work. Note to self, don't be clever, just shoot them. <laughs> In fairness, I'll probably get quite a poor score for this because I'm not really being stealthy. I'm not playing things the way that, see, they're on high alert already. What the hell was going on with the camera there? Ow! It's a good job I'm not doing this on super difficult, as I would have died a long, long while back. Swiss cheesed! I'd have been. Oh no, that's a dead end. Um, let's go through here. Special ammo. Every weapon has special ammo that does extra damage. Switch ammo types in the inventory screen. Oh, that sounds like a faff. Nope, you are. Ha ha! Northgate key. Lovely. Uh, that would be here then. Cool. That was nice and close. Oh, mm, so easy. <laughs> Where did you guys come from? I haven't got any time to be clever. I wonder if this all stems from me with the radio dude. Yeah. Oi, right. how did you survive all that? Cheeky beggar. Right. Give me some more rounds. Armour full, lovely. More rounds. Am I near the mansion entrance yet? How are there any guards left, man? I 
Any more for any more? I'll take that as a no. In I go. Hey! Wire man. Are we going to have our first little boss fight? No, because he's not me unconscious. <sighs> hmm. So now what? Record time, Mr. Craig. You are indeed the killer I'm looking for. When do I get to kill the real James Bond? After he steals from the Russians their new left for the Kovic. And Bond is going to do it for us. We assume that's who MI6 will send. There is a girl in the Russian consulate in Istanbul, Tatiana Romanova, yep. who I've ordered to head. She believes I am still with KGB. What don't MI6 suspect is a trap. My reading of the British mentality is that they always see a trap as a chance. And then you can avenge the death of our Dr. No. Let Bond death be a part Ha ha, clever. I kind of remember that now. <laughs> You're going to need a miracle, James, to explain where you've been all week. Oh, money, Penny. Let me turn up the secret if you want. You'll have time for that later, 007. Step into my focus immediately. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. They, uh, it sounds like they've taken stuff from... I love how he's still kneeling. It sounds like they've taken stuff from the film because it doesn't sound quite as it should. It's a little bit tinny. It seems you have an admirer, a woman in Istanbul, Tatiana Romanova, who's fallen quite in love with you. But I've never even heard of a Tatiana Romanova. And of course, girls do fall in love with pictures of film stuff. But not a Russian cipher clerk with a file photo of a British agent. Ridiculous, mm. isn't it? No. It's some sort of trap. Precisely. And the bait is a brand new lector, a Soviet decoder machine. The CIA has been after one of those for years. And so have we. When she contacted Kerim Bey, head of Station T in Turkey, she said she wanted to defect, and she'd turn over the lector to us on one condition. That you went to Istanbul and brought her and the machine back to England. The whole thing is so fantastic, it just might be true. You're booked on the A30 flight to Istanbul. Q is waiting for you. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll try that on the thing outside. Receive briefing from Q. I quite like how... Oh, fold and check it. Lovely. James, get down to Q Lab. Okay then. Our desktops can be able to communicate. Interesting. Don't really get to experience this in the film. It's quite nice that they don't just go cut scene. Brief from him, another cutscene of you're magically in a Q branch and then you hear from Q that there's actually a bit of kind of living happening. Good morning, Devil L7. Oh, good morning, Q. How have you been? Busy inventing things? Not as busy as you've been destroying them. <laughs> Follow me, Devil L7, and try not to break anything. That doesn't sound... Right, but it had his name in the credits. Whether they've just used his likeness or not, I don't know. Typical terrorist situation, 007. There's a bomb somewhere in the training area. You have to find it, equipped only with your laser watch and guns. Oh, I like that. Laser watch. Use the laser watch to target objects through bulletproof glass. Use a laser watch to reach the bomb. How do I use the laser watch? Ah! Like that. Oh, 
Oh, nice. So you use that to open this. Oh, that's cheeky. That's quite cool. So use. Yeah, it did. What's it? Who's what? Ah! That is where we will have to leave it for now. But we have done two levels, kind of the beginning uh, intro level and then the first sort of normal level, if you like. And now we're going through a bit more training with a few new bits of equipment. We've had voice acting all the way throughout. We've had cutscenes. The controls are really, really easy to get to grips with. You get nice on-screen prompts when you get kind of a new uh, thing to do, like how to take cover, how to shoot, how to change weapon, things like that. Your objectives are nice and clear on the screen when they first pop up, and then you get markers on your map you kind of get a free reign as well for one pound i am definitely going to say that this is a one pound wonder if you happen across this game in your travels and it's not too expensive especially if you can pick it up for a pound as well i would certainly urge that you do so and it i feel personally it's a shame i didn't come across this game in a little bit sooner but now i do have it I think I'm going to give it a bit more time and a bit more love. Till next time though, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.